All right, in our video today, uh, just like we always do, we're gonna be going through the fundamentals here, the basics around the idea of what an action actually is. Um, so we have our action, right? And if you're like me, you're probably like wondering when you first got into flows, like, okay, I see this thing, like when would I actually use it? And two, what can I actually use inside of this action um, element that's available on a flow. So that's kind of what I want to focus in on. Um, just as a friendly reminder, this is like a very just fundamental, basic, like, hey, this is what this is used for. Uh, this will not be like technical. So if you are learning, this is perfect for you because I just want to stress the points of like, hey, this is what it is. This is what you could utilize this thing for. Maybe here are some other things you could look into um, in using a different action. I will make videos down the road of like the specific actions you can utilize these things for, but this one's just going to be a high level. This is what we're doing with this action button or action element is what I should say. Uh, so we have it over here, right? Like you're looking at my screen. We have our little action. If I drag this guy onto the screen, there's all these things. When I first got confused here, I pulled it up and I was like, hey, like I'm selected under all, but I don't see anything, right? And um, that was always kind of confusing. What you got to do is you actually got to click in the search thing here. And as long as I'm under all, it's going to show me all the actions that are available to me. Um, and then you also have this other one I want to stress, which is uncategorized. This one probably won't have any. Okay, it has a few. Um, so if you have a developer or if you are a developer, um, you can also create custom Apex and it should show up here under uncategorized. And this will allow you to use custom Apex code uh, to do some type of specific action within a flow. Um, so that's where those ones will show up. And just wanted to highlight that because it does give you a lot more ideas around like what's possible, what you can utilize this stuff for. Um, so that's where that will be found. But as you're seeing over here, right? Like I can select all, I can scroll through those, um, or you could go by category. And as I go by category, those lists will be shorter. Uh, letting us know like what it is that we can do. So they have some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, I would say like some common ones that I've seen a lot of this stuff used for is like submitting for approvals. Another one is like sending out emails. Um, there is kind of that cool one. I haven't utilized this one. I want to make a video on it, but I did have a use case at a company I worked for where we did an auto convert lead and we didn't have developers. And I think we ended up doing this a much harder way than we needed to because I didn't know that this was in here. So I'm definitely gonna make a video on this one to go over this. Um, but as you're seeing here, right, like there's just different things in here that you can utilize this thing for. Um, and then if we look at, you know, like this one, for example, like what we have pulled up, this one's going to send out a specific email for me. So what you do is you drag it onto your screen right? You select something that you want to do. So let's just say we're doing another email. I would select that and it, it asks me typically what you would see on like any other element, right? Which is our label, our API name, the description, and then my email body and my email subject. So once I've done that, I can then connect it within this flow and utilize this resource. So that's kind of at a high level, like what you would use one of these action elements for.